Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. The Lazarus Project, I have decided to call it that, the enrichment and returning of youth to the human body. I have done this now for the past two, three months. Did a lot of work in physics, figured many things out and did it. Uh, some parts of my body now are 17, some are 30 and so on and so on. But overall the body is around 31. I'm 37, the body inside is about 31 and some parts are even 17. And I'm going to explain now, go into the whole uh, physics, show the dreams and how things work and everything about it. So to simplify things uh, fast, how easily that goes on, in the, in the term of uh, global physics, where all of it is understood, I chose these two uh, simple equations to simply explain it. So temperature equals mass times energy. This is the one equation that I wrote in a book uh, many, many years before. But this equation tells you all matter. All matter and how you can make all matter. Therefore, but it is extremely helpful in these screens. Uh, that return youth and so on and so on. The temperature inside blood, so on and so on. Let's say temperature inside blood decides the chemistry of the atoms of food in it and decides how they irradiate energy into your body and so on and so on. So temperature equals mass times energy. Uh, the temperature of the cream equals the mass of the atoms. If, let's say, uh, the atom is hot, that means it's bigger, swells up and gives off energy differently and that equals the mass. If the atom expands, then the mass expands as well and in a different way is taken. And then that decides the E energy, how the energy will go into your body and enrich it. <laughs> uh, so the first part that I thought to explain would be a simple way how to make all the uh, true physics understanding, which is easy. The second, which is the what one gets after that, uh, many times when I use the creams, my skin becomes actually white. I have been now in summertime uh, outside and got a tan, but uh, every time I use the creams that are for enrichment and returning youth, uh, they return a white color to the skin. Even if the sunlight, the entrance of photons into the atoms of the skin makes the skin darker, the graphene creams and many other new creams that are made, uh, they return a white color to the skin. So color uh, equals density. So let's say right here the skin is very, very white. And right here it's dark. Uh, the color of skin equals its density. If something is squeezing together, like let's say a hair, then it's dark. If it's less dense, then the hair is white. But the hair is basically hydrogen, mostly hydrogen, and how it is squeezed when it's made inside the, inside the skin. Uh, so the color equals density through temperature times the energy. Times the energy here that's inside the atoms themselves, of course. So this is the first cream. Uh, this is now a special cream that I made few months later. Now, one thing that I didn't mention before, that when the creams are longer, they stay in a tube, uh, like, uh, uh, like one of these. Uh, then the energy remains inside. Of but people can see right here, you would never even notice it, uh, that uh, this looks like now like mercury. This doesn't even look like something biological. This looks like a liquid metal or something and that is simply because in all the atoms in it is a totally different now type of energy 
but it's a mix of many many atoms many many molecules and everything but it has the bases which is Nivea and which is gra graphene atoms in it but individual graphene sheets and individual graphene atoms and uh, people can tell from the look of it it sort of shines more like a metal than uh, than it's a cream people wouldn't even tell it, this resembles more to me mercury than than Nivea or a cream and something so that's something that I did uh, and the smart thing to point out there is when I left uh, this cream in a tube but this one I used up already all of it almost uh, uh, the longer it stays in the thicker it becomes and the better it becomes but it has a lot of other molecules to enrich it in it and so on so but this is the cream for skin this is the cream for body skin basically now these right here shown these are creams for the face now the face is totally different skin and to be enriched uh, it takes a totally different type of chemistry and a different type of molecules and atoms than this skin and that is one thing that is uh, smart to point out all these people can see these are where all the where all the enriched atoms went into and everything this so these creams are all brand new uh, projects and brand new ideas and uh, and into in them are a whole lot of uh, enriched uh, atoms a whole lot of different things new things secret projects to enrich the face and when i apply them sometimes i do them three at a time let's say these three or these three at one time uh, the face changed color to white like extremely extremely fast after a half an hour i saw that it worked perfectly and everything but even these creams i made them let's say 10 days ago uh, the longer they stay in these in these tubes the longer they stay the more the energy will become better and better and better but uh, tons and tons new things are in them from plants from new ideas and everything and so on totally secret projects for just the face now this is very very good for the body skin but for the face a lot more is needed so that it works uh, the way it should so now i'll explain uh, what uh, uh, the the evidence what has happened in the past few in the past few months that i've been working on it and everything inside the body i ate the food that's in the shows the tree of life and everything i ate it and inside the body my calculations say it's around 30 years old now i'm about 37 but inside it's about 30 so to speak through the math and understanding so the first thing i thought to point out is the hands now this hand on purpose i did uh, to be young a lot more and this one I left uh, just as comparison so people can see that it is uh, how it really really works so this hand is now about 17 years old the skin and from the look of it people can see it right there this one is a lot older around 30 33 4 so to speak but I did that on purpose just that uh, people can see now right here people can tell the the lines of the the lines that are like pores in the skin and what the difference is right there one between the other and that is around the month of work uh, what i did with this hand is a special cream for that and i would put it in a glove and uh, i would put duct tape right there and then the the creams would irradiate and go in a lot more now people can see right here the lines which are the pores in the skin uh, in this hand people can see I left it on purpose to be older and there people can see that the pores and lines are a lot a lot better this hand is now around uh, 20 years old the skin I have compared it with some people that are like 20 years old and it looks some places it even looks better than theirs right there people can see the difference between one and the other but I did that on purpose now I'm gonna fix this hand as well but there people can see and that's from applying the cream let's say let's say 20 hours 20 hours of cream applied to the hand but with a glove over so that all the moisture and energy goes into the skin and not into the air evaporate 
So that's evidence right there and people anytime can come over and see it. It's not a story or something or everything, but it's real evidence and really, really works. People anytime can come over and see that for themselves and everything. And that is the comparison right there. People can see right here how the skin is uh, a lot more. And that is, but the amount of skin in both hands is actually the same. Just here, it's tight. The skin is squeezing together a lot more tightly, which is the density of the atoms. And here, it isn't because it has less energy. This hand has a lot more energy in it, therefore the atoms are squeezing to each other a lot more, and they are a lot bigger, obviously, because they have more energy. And this hand is older, right there and there people can see that the skin is more loose and there is it appears as if there is more of it so i have explained the hands the next project i did was this hand uh, to remove the hair permanently from it uh, for five to ten years many girls shave every month every few weeks they have to shave that too is a big industry something very very good and something I'm working on and so far it's working discovered that technology as well uh, the hair that is right there uh, uh, is removed uh, by by the by the uh, wax how do people call it wax and uh, it is removed and then a special type of cream is put over and once the cream goes into the holes where the hairs are, it enriches those holes. A special type of cream for that. And then the holes uh, return to being, let's, ten, let's say, 10 years old. And when the holes are enriched, especially that part where the hair starts growing, uh, there the cream comes in and enriches it. Therefore, returns it to being, let's say, 10 years old, 8 years old and then the hair will not grow for the next four to five years simply because it's that young. That is also something easy, easy that I have figured out and now I'm working on it as well. That's this hand right here. Next project in the whole thing. Now the human body is very complicated. It has many different hairs. It has many different uh, skins and different types of creams and atoms are needed for that. Next thing is the, is the hair on on, uh, on a person's head. Uh, what is there, a problem that I'm working on now is gray hair. It's right there and right there it's gray. Although I had gray hair since I was 24 and something gray hair started growing. And now what I'm working on is uh, a special cream for that. Although that skin too is totally different and requires different types of creams. But that's what I'm working on uh, in the past few days and it's supposed to it's supposed to work in the next show that will be airing next week. Uh, it's supposed to be all gone and the hair will be just dark, is the plan. The explanation of hair is very, very simple. Hair is, let's say, like, uh, like growing like that and the skin is holding. And how the skin holds it decides the color. Now, the hair is made mainly out of hydrogen. The food people eat, hair is hydrogen. Uh, just like uh, seeds in a plant, uh, so on and so on, just like DNA strands. Well, hair is made mainly hydro hydrogen and a little bit of carbon. Now, how skin squeezes the hair, that decides the color. If it's squeezing the hair a lot, which comes from density and tightness of the skin, then the skin is young and dark. If it's squeezing the hair less, then the hair is white. And that is then simply done. So, a special cream is put on the skin of the head to make it tight, young and tight, obviously, and then it starts squeezing the hairs a lot, and even if they're gray, the new ones will return to being dark. And that is simply density of the hydrogen atoms. If they are uh, densely packed, then the hair is dark or blonde and so on, and that is also DNA of each human being. Some people have red hair, some have blonde, some have dark, so on and so on. That is simply the DNA design of their skin, how it's going to work. Women's hair, for instance, women's uh, skin on their head, uh, it is designed uh, to get a lot more energy than men's. Uh, the woman's body sends a lot more energy right there to their hair, that it's always, that it's always growing and not they don't lose hair. Uh, but the ma male body is totally different, sends energy to other places, but here to this uh, a lot less. 
So that's why men lose hair. And it's a simple, even stupid way of curing it. One just uh, makes the cream that is, that is tight, makes this skin young, and then the skin starts squeezing all the hairs enough, and then they're again dark and that's it. So that are some of the explanation to lead into and uh, all summer long all the fruits that were in the videos and everything I have eaten all of them the tuna fish tomatoes the, the graphene the tree of life tomatoes the graphene tree of life tomatoes I have eaten about half a kilogram of them sort of uh, that amount and I calculated the graphene energy in that would be about five percent so five percent of that which would be 50 grams uh, would be would be how much is now in the blood but people uh, there to understand it, it is uh, the graphene atom if a person takes graphene and eats it the question is will graphene break into energy when it comes into the blood because graphene is a type of metal like matter but when it is specially changed with a special type of energy and chemistry inside the graphene atom then when it comes into the blood, it irradiates that energy. Because what a person really needs to enrich his body, to return it, which is the, to being young, which is the point of the Lazarus Project, is to like return a person to be young again, is the graphene energy itself. And it takes a special type of quantum realm chemistry in the graphene atom to do that properly and everything. But, uh, so right now there's about 50 grams of graphene in in my blood but with a lot of other things that are in the blood as well that make sure that the graphene atoms break apart into energy properly and everything and so on when they became the fruit that I have eaten from the tree of life project but I have eaten all of them all of the tomatoes that were in the past videos and shows I have eaten all of them and uh, by now summer is almost over and my calculations say inside the body, uh, my body is now about, let's say, around 31. And uh, many things have changed, uh, let's say, concentration, reflexes, uh, strength. I train, I box, and strength is like enormous, enormous strength. <laughs> reflexes like a lot, a lot better than in boxing. Uh, uh, I can sort of punch in 30% 30, 30 of a second. I can already punch, think, punch, and return my hand in 30% of a second. So the, the past few months, a lot of things have brought to change. In boxing, I would have a lot of strength in the gym, although I worked out uh, for many years of my life. But speed and the reflexes, like tons, tons better. And that is probably easy to understand. Graphene energy plus electricity, which is the nervous system, they work together thousand times better than other energies and the nervous system because graphene and electricity go together very, very well they combine and work together very, very well also when the skin is young uh, pimples return that I have to say as well pimples return and pain returns uh, the nervous system and pain recipients with the graphene energy in the skin they work a lot a lot better so a person feels pain a lot a lot more so the one easy thing I already told about the hair is the squeezing of the hair. Why is it white? Why is it black and why it falls out? When the skin is all old and loose, the hair simply falls out because there is nothing to hold it. And that right there is this equation which explains it. The color, let's say hair, but this is about the entire human body and the color. The color equals the density of the matter. And uh, the easy way to understand that a black hair is black because the hydrogen atoms are very very dense when they are less dense then the hair is white and old and then later falls out and that happens through the temperature because the hydrogen atoms in the hair which are black uh, is also their temperature and that also happens times the energy that means which hydrogen atoms you eat in some past shows i have explained seeds inside tomatoes that are enriched hydrogen so if we were eating like i am uh, some to enriched hydrogen well then that hydrogen is a lot bigger bigger it has a lot more energy therefore it would take a lot less to make it dark because if the hydrogen 
atoms are bigger and have more energy, then they will remain dense and the black color a lot longer than, than uh, they usually do. So that's just one easy way to explain it. But the entire human body has color. The organs, the bones, why are the bones white? The bones are made out of the same things as the skin, as the hair, and so on and so on. But they are white simply because of their density. Gray, bones are grayish, whitish, so on. <laughs> the teeth that people have, those are the same atoms that are the skin, the organs, and so on and so on. But the very big difference is density and temperature, and therefore you get the color. But the energy in the atoms, as far as food, is the same energy, but that food is enriched differently to become different things. That's why some organs are uh, red, teeth are white, simply because of the energy that comes into the atoms when they are enriched, when people are kids, and the density of them. So here is like one simple explanation of hair. Uh, this is the hole where the, ho the hair is made and this is where the hair grows and uh, the simple way to explain it and this is the top of the skin now when the cream is applied when the hairs are taken out like right here that I'm doing then this hole is empty so this is like an easy quantum realm explanation of hair I thought to use that because it's simple and people can understand it very easily so this is the hole where the hair grows right there uh, and this is the skin top and this is the place where the hair is made. Now this represents blood and hydrogen. Where hydrogen atoms of food uh, through the blood, this is a vein, come there. But this is very, very tiny in the, that happens in the skin. It's like uh, very, very small. People cannot even see those veins or how that goes on. Uh, but hydrogen through the skin comes to this hole right here. And this is where the, whole, uh, the hair is made. And then it, the hair grows, 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 and comes out of the skin, which is very, very simple. And this would be a normal size. But as a person gets older, this hole gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, when this part of the, of the skin becomes like it's outside, then the hair totally falls out to men, and that's it, and they're bald. So, but when this skin is tight and strong, then the hair is growing and comes out as black. If it is bigger, then comes out as white. The, uh, but the important part is that the blood comes to it and hydrogen atoms come here and they turn into the hair and grow. So skin is basically like a very microscopic factory where things are made new, so on and so on. Uh, hair grows like that, nails grow in the same way and so on and so on. But the easy way to understand that is the cream is applied right there. That's what I'm doing right here on this part of the skin. I thought not to do it all over the body, it will be like too much. But it's an experiment what I'm doing right here. And I have done it with the creams in the past week and so on. So the cream comes in right here where the hair is made. But it has to be done on the day when you take the hair out. And not shave it, but totally take it out with, with wax. And then this hole is empty. That's how I did it. And then the cream comes in right here and enriches this part right here, which is very important. And then when this part where the hair begins to be made is enriched, this part returns to being 10 years old, so let's say 7 years old, so on and so on. And therefore the hair stops growing totally. These here places, they become too small. Uh, uh, although uh, hydrogen and the food that turns into the hair, uh, this here becomes like clogged up, so to speak. Uh, and then very little of it can come or none of it. And that stops hair growth then. But stops it naturally and organically that, uh, that it does not, it's not like laser things. The laser things, they just fry these these parts of the skin and then that's unnatural and so on. But this makes it, returns it to a youth uh, age that the, naturally the hair stops growing and so on. The same thing is on the head. Uh, the point is the cream comes in here, but on the head, uh, I have not done it that way, but it's also a possibility. Uh, the creams are right here and there and they uh, make this 
skin part tight and then the hair grows dark and that's it. Okay. So I have been working on it for a, for a past few months and invested a lot of money. I spent just on creams and making them, I spent about a thousand dollars just on that. And I thought if we're going to save humanity, we're going to make a technology that's going to give youth to the human race and everything, why not do it with some style and uh, a lot better things and everything. Then I got tons and tons of new things. This is like one from Milan uh, for the face uh, cream. Uh, and it's about 50 bucks, it's not that expensive, but into it I have added a lot new things, a lot better. And it works on the face a lot, a lot well. But I have not had time, I applied them to the face maybe, maybe five hour stops and everything. Didn't really have time to do it and everything a lot more, which I should. It would take about a month to return to about 17 years old look. But the skin, the size of the skin remains the same. Uh, just the, the density and youth returns and everything. So that is one of the things. Next uh, thing I did also is, uh, is for lips. This is for girls. And uh, made a whole new experiment about this. This is like a cream that is of a, a lip, lip up that makes a girl's lips like become bigger. But I added volume to it and youth to it and to return the pink color to the lips. That's what I did right here. And although this one I didn't test yet. This one I tested and it worked okay, just it takes, but it takes a lot more time. This is like a volume lip and everything. But they're both going well and working out good. Now the body I have done the most which is the most important part. And that is the cream that I showed that was look like mercury. That is actually the one for the body. And uh, although I work out and the skin is very tight, but people can tell that it is also very, very young. In some spots, and because I have done it for the longest period, it is perhaps even 17 years old in some places. The veins are simply because of the gym and working out and everything. But people can see that the skin is very, very tight. The muscles are not really that big and everything, but the skin looks like it's as if 18 years old. So people can see the skin overall. Uh, right here I have a little bit of fat. Oh, I eat healthy food and I don't eat much of it. I eat maybe half a kilogram a day, 300 grams of food a day, and that's all I eat. But good, extremely healthy food and enriched. Uh, but that's all the fat I got right there. But uh, the skin here, because it's the stomach, is a little bit still not that tight. But everywhere else, the skin is the skin is uh, very very tight and everything, as people can see, and uh, the back as well, and so on. And uh, the skin overall looks as if it's 20 years old. And is the sexual organs. Now, people might not know that, but that is actually the toughest part that I had trouble with to enrich. And I made a cream a few days ago. I tied it up in one day and I made it with seven euros, the, the cream. Tested it for two nights and it worked perfect. But I tested it on myself, so for men it works perfect and great. <laughs> but all the complications there are, are enormous. The problem is, uh, the cream that once applies uh, goes into the blood. Uh, the sexual organ of men and women has uh, quantum, not quantum, but microscopic holes. And then uh, through those holes things go and go into the blood. That is also how people get the diseases and everything and so on. <laughs> and I thought up a special cream that is a two-way cream. Uh, one part stays on the skin, but the other part which is a lot smaller, it goes into those microscopic holes and enriches the inner parts and so on and so on. And it worked great, uh, worked perfect. But the big problem is uh, the quantum realm energy equivalent. Because it has microscopic holes, they have to be a certain size. So if they are too small, then let's say uh, that's how women get wet. When they're excited and everything, women get wet. And it has to be wet uh, in those parts. And if those holes are enriched too much, then uh, they are a lot smaller and smaller. 
So those are some quantum realm energies that have to be precise, very, very precise. Although I'm working on that in a few days, it will be for women as well uh, ready. <laughs> the other great realization when I was working on that was to make those holes smaller than a virus. Because when a woman comes or gets wet, those are molecules. They are big molecules and sticky and everything, but they are molecules. A virus is a thousand, thousand, thousand times bigger. So if those holes are enriched enough that the molecules can come out, but the viruses cannot come in, therefore it could even stop that people can get diseases, men and women. Uh, that's what I figured out when I was working on that, the sizes of the holes, which are 17, which are 17 parts of a micrometer, are those holes, very, very small. And then I was thinking to make another cream, which will be also soon, that those holes are enriched to a certain size, that they are, that they are very, very small, smaller than a virus, but big enough for molecules to come through, and then women cannot get viruses anymore, and men. Just the problem with men is, uh, it becomes bigger and smaller all the time. For women, it's a lot easier because it's always the same size. The temperature and, uh, and uh, the temperature change, changes, but the size is always the same. So to make a cream that women, uh, it becomes enriched, and also that they cannot get any more viruses, it seems also in a few days that will also be very, very fast. So here is one uh, graph explanation to explain that. Th this is how it is for men and women. Uh, they all have, uh, on private parts, people have these microscopic holes right there. And uh, this is where those liquids are made, which are highly like rich molecules. Uh, that's when people get wet. That's when people get wet and women come and so on and so on. And those are like microscopic holes all over the skin there. And let's say when people are having sex, uh, this is where viruses come through. And they come here. These lines represent veins. Because veins have to bring food and food makes, turns into those molecules that are of getting wet and coming and so on. That's also like some quantum realm factory that makes those things. But uh, the problem with diseases is that the disease, the virus comes through these holes and it goes there. And then it goes into the blood and that's how people get diseases in the first place. And uh, the big realization there, to make a cream to enrich uh, these parts, which are outside right here, which would be uh, that part, uh, is easy. It's not that hard. I mean, I did it. This is one for men that it works. But for women, it's uh, basically almost the same thing very, very well. So the outside parts can be enriched very, very easily. But a second part of the cream that's in the cream is the part that can come through these parts right here. Now, the problem is with these creams that it goes into the blood. So if somebody uses, let's say, Nivea, I mean, it's not Nivea, it's just in this cap. Uh, but if somebody uses Nivea, that's not good because Nivea, too much Nivea in your blood, that uh, could, be, could be very not, not good because Nivea is for outside use, not inside use. <laughs> so the cream is made specially engineered in two parts. One part stays outside right here, but a special part is the part that comes through here and enriches these parts right here. And then the engineering of it that I was figuring out, which is quantum realm, extreme quantum realm uh, uh, energy equivalents have to be extremely, extremely precise, is to make these holes, uh, to make them young. Of course, the younger they are, the smaller they are. That's fact. But a person can choose in the future, let's say, if a woman is doing that, she can choose how young she wants to be, like 17, 20, 21, 22, she can choose that uh, just by how many hours she would apply the cream. Uh, but if these, uh, if these uh, ways become too small, then women will not get wet as much and so on. But the big realization I had there is the holes can be enriched that much that it's enough for the liquids to come out 
but viruses cannot come in because the, it, it would, the hole would be smaller than the virus itself. And then that would prevent for men and women to get diseases in the first place, because that's how people get uh, sexually transmitted diseases. Uh, uh, the virus or disease comes right there, that's where the blood is, because it brings food to make these molecules, and right there where that, uh, in these micro holes, that place where the liquids are made, enriched to turn into, into how women get wet, that's where they get diseases in the first place. So if this hole is just made smaller than a virus, then people cannot get viruses anymore, which is gonna be a special cream, of course, just for that to be made, which in future shows will be more explained. But right here is the cream that returns youth to cream, so that it is in two parts, to enrich the inner parts and the outer skin parts. And the outer skin part can be as tight, as, as enriched as a person wishes them, just by how long would they apply the cream, basically. It's, it's gonna be that simple and easy. So, the next thing in the Lazarus project, because it is of the whole human body, the point is to make young and enrich the whole, whole human body. But when a person comes to engineering these things, uh, then he sees great, great opportunities. So to enrich these parts, uh, it means that they will be young again. So women will feel in sex, they will feel young and so on and so on, which is what everybody wants, and of course, anyways. Uh, but the next great thing would be to make these holes, which also men have them as well, just in a different way, uh, to make them smaller even than a virus. And then, uh, when they are smaller than a virus, which is a thousand, thousand times bigger than the molecules that are being made, uh, then people cannot get diseases anymore ever again. The viruses would simply stay right there, if they are, which is outside, and then a person would simply pee them and they would go into the sewer and that's it. Uh, so that is the great realization and that is the great thing which is in this cup right now. It is uh, thought up to be a two-way cream. So one that can go through these microscopic holes and the other part is the bigger things that are outside, right there, so that cannot go through these holes. So one part enriches these outer parts, but a second part enriches these inner parts because uh, this goes into the blood and if uh, you know you take Niva and it goes into your blood especially more of it then that's not healthy that's not good at all but this is a totally totally top secret to totally special great specially engineered in the quantum realm precision how it works and everything in two ways so to go here inside inside and to the blood to enrich these inner parts and the outer parts that stay just out there do not go through these holes and everything also this cream is is a very old one and very secret secret version and it is very very good this is the one that i used on skin of the body and that it is very very tight and the uh, one thing that i would mention is the graphene atoms in them in a particular size the graphene uh, sheets in particular sizes and atoms and the graphene atoms inside this liquid are probably the biggest and most uh, enriched have the most energy outside the tree of life of anywhere on earth the graphene inside this liquid is the best currently on planet Earth, 100%. And, uh, and this cream works beautiful, beautiful. This is all I got left, actually. I left it for the video and uh, used it all up because it was extremely, extremely well. But uh, one of the reasons is I left this cream uh, for a month and longer just so that it sits and the energies mix, mix a lot. And another great realization that I have is, uh, let's say there is a virus and somebody puts a virus inside this cream. Uh, so much energy would go into the virus that it would stop being a virus. 
the energy would overwhelm it and turn it into something harmless and something totally different. It would turn maybe into some type of metal even, like thing. And so it would kill a virus by my mathematical estimates of incoming energy. It would change a virus or kill it easy, like easy as pie, any virus for sure. Uh, that's one thing. And the, the next thing about these creams, they're all different versions. Uh, the face is actually the hardest, hardest, uh, although I started on the face just uh, uh, a week ago and it is actually the hardest. These creams, one of these creams has up to 40 ingredients in it for it to work on the face. And all these companies right here uh, that people can see, this is one of the like more expensive ones which was 50 and something euros uh, in there with that cream would be f 40 30 different ingredients added to it and it works on the face like great and everything and uh, sometimes i would take three of these and put them on the face so that they all work at the same time and everything so but that's coming going on well and uh, so on and also this cream which is sort of like i would call it like mercury cream i think now this really is although it's a bit darker than mercury but it looks like it and this cream uh the equation i mentioned temperature equals mass times the energy it gives so this cream is actually in the quantum realm as cold as as the arctic as cold as Pluto, you can say, is the quantum realm temperature inside this cream, but in the atoms in the quantum realm and around them. Because no molecule or atom in this cream is something known to human beings. They are all completely changed and their chemistry is completely changed. And uh, they are all something totally new, never before seen on planet Earth is the atoms and molecules in this cream and that's why it is this color but when you see it, it it looks actually like a liquid metal that's really what it looks like and everything but the temperature quantum realm temperature is extremely extremely cold now inside the atoms and the molecules and everything so the temperature in the quantum realm is ice, ice cold, extremely, extremely cold. And then that gives the equal mass. The exact temperature, quantum realm, gives the exact mass of each molecule and each atom that's in the cream. And they're equal. The temperature decides the mass of all the atoms and molecules. But they are all constantly being enriched. Well, not now, but now in part as well. But they are when they are in a special tube where that takes place and everything. And then that equals, uh, the equal between the temperature of it and the mass gives times the energy. And when the cream is applied on the skin, uh, the energy, that E that is made from the temperature and mass, that's what enriches the skin and makes it young. So it is basically like you put your skin in a quantum realm uh, enrichment, like a place which is totally, totally new and that's what enriches the skin. And then the E, temperature equals mass times energy, that energy flies into your skin and that's how it becomes young. So that's like the easy uh, physics explanation. So that's the physics explanation. Uh, temperature equals mass times the energy. So that is uh, many, many different things. Let's say the human body. The temperature of it decides the size of the atom, therefore the mass, and times that the energy is spent. Uh, and how much energy is spent is uh, growing old and then how much energy is returned is returning to being young therefore it is very easily understood and the color shows that kids skin is extremely extremely white older people it's more yellow and red and so on. so that's an easy explanation of that uh, new things that I have also made are these 
uh, this is like a lip cream that makes the lips bigger, gives them volume. But uh, what I'm working on is that a person applies this cream and their lips remain like that for, uh, for like 10, 20, 30 years and so on. So when the lips become bigger uh, and pink, the color, then they remain that way, they stay that way and so on. I mean, let's say a nuclear physicist or a nuclear physicist on Earth. Well, I know about the quantum realm a trillion times more than them. Uh, of enrichment and about the quantum. Uh, actually, all the nuclear physicists on Earth, I probably know a trillion times more about the quantum realm and about enrichment than all of them together, so to speak. And so that is in the screen. Uh, this is for men's version, but it is to enrich uh, the, uh, to enrich sexual parts inside and out that they are young. And the whole uh, physics shows that uh, women, for instance, women can be as young as they want to them, uh, 17 and so on. But the thing about it is uh, that if a person returns, let's say, to being 10 years old, uh, a sexual organs, well, then people won't even want to have sex because kids, the, their organs are that way that they are not yet fully mature to have sex. So then if a person overdoes it, it might be too much and so on. But because of the size, maybe that would not really happen. That's one of the things also I came to in research and everything. <laughs> but uh, that too is going well. Actually, my whole body I did, which is the Lazarus Project, I call it. The creams also. But the, the only thing that I have not solved yet is the gray hair. Everything else I did, skin, in, internal organs, everything, everything. The graphene energy and in the plants, which is the tree of life, uh, the graphene energy is mixed with a whole bunch of other very rich and good energies. And then that energy makes graphene release energy. Because let's say a person eats some graphene. Well, graphene, if it's not properly changed inside the atom, well, then graphene is just graphene. It's just like a piece of metal floating around in a person's blood. Because if it doesn't have the right quantum realm temperature, quantum realm energy equivalent inside the atom and the temperature around it, then graphene might just be floating around, taking up space in a person's blood. The big point is that the graphene and the tree of life, all the atoms in the tomatoes, that they release energy when they come into the blood. And that is to know the temperature and the mass and the release of energy of those special, special atoms. And that has worked out well. Uh, my nervous system is a lot, a lot better. Uh, my reflexes are a lot, a lot better and so on and so on. Also what I tried uh, some days ago when I was going to work out was the tomatoes for strength. Now that was the only thing that did not work out so well, but that's for me as an individual, I think. Uh, when I ate it, I ate just one. I knew it wasn't gonna be good, so I ate just one little one like that. <laughs> and uh, I had strength, that's correct. Although I had strength from all the other food I eat in boxing and everything. In a day, I do 10 rounds and I've been working out now for a month, even less than a month. I can do 10 rounds very, very easily. Uh, and like for fun and everything. But the reflexes, uh, like I could punch and return my hand like at Bruce Lee type speeds, like in 30% of a second. Although I know uh, boxing and I have been researching a lot in the past about uh, boxing and sports and everything. Uh, but uh, increase of strength, of punching, of uh, reflexes, and of movement, speed, and everything, and so on. So that all comes from the from the tree of life and the graphene energy in the blood and everything. It specially enriches, I would say, the nervous system. The nervous system becomes a lot, a lot better, stronger than 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 it was before. Because uh, yes, the blood does not go into the nervous system. That's correct. But uh, there is a place where they connect. Uh, the because the skin right there doesn't have, a, doesn't have blood in it on top of it, 
but the nervous system is there, so they are sort of connected and everything. So the graphene energy, let's say in skin, perfectly well connects to the nervous system and everything and so on. That then in fact works on the brain. The brain is the center of the nervous system, therefore uh, the graphene energy and everything, the tree of life and the food, enriched food, on the brain works perfectly. But the So in all these creams I showed, like this is crop from Milan, uh, Nivea, of course, a lot, a lot of Nivea products and everything. Uh, there is Revlent, Revita Lift, okay, wow, that uh, so on and so on. You know, uh, they can all contact me if they are interested in making these creams to return youth and everything. Millions and trillions can be made in these things uh, to share profit or just to sell the idea to them and so on and so on. <laughs> Very soon I plan to, I plan to go and, uh, and start work on these things on larger projects and everything, of course. But the important thing to me is to know it that I made it and it works, then later things go on. But like I mentioned, any of these uh, companies could contact me and uh, to make these creams come to a larger public and everything and so on. The one that I showed there, it's like probably more valuable than gold even. Uh, the, one, the one that I uh, mentioned, the mercury lookalike cream. That's probably more valuable than gold. Somebody asks you, do you want this or do you want gold? Well, gold isn't gonna give you life. What's gold gonna help you? Gold would be like something totally meaningless. And this chain also, what I realized every time I apply the cream, the chain is on. So this is probably now the first enriched gold on planet Earth. And it's even a lot more shiny. In some light I see it. Uh, since then, it's a lot more shiny and looks better and everything. So it's even the first gold ever enriched, which gives a higher, which gives higher than the mass of the gold. It becomes bigger, therefore more grams, more valuable and so on. And so that is the strange thing that I sort of realized. Uh, so that, the cream that can enrich uh, private parts of men and women. And when a person is young, that's like the best part of your life. You're in love, you have sex with somebody you like, that's the best day of your life. And, uh, and to have that for the next 10,000 years, and uh, that it all fits in one cup, it's like totally, totally unbelievable. And for the future, for thousands of years, that you walk into a store and you buy it, it's like totally, totally beyond, beyond understanding what it can all become, you know. The physics that it gives, that it gives, that it gives you that, basically, you're young again, and you're really young again. It's not like you're gonna look young, it's you're really gonna be young again. I can show people that. Although here it's because of that, pimples have even returned to me. When I was young, I had thousands of pimples. I even have scars of pimples because I had pimples all over when I was a kid. And now even pimples are returning. I'm like, come on, is that gonna happen to me? To have pimples again? But that's how it goes, you know. <laughs> if you're gonna be young, you're really gonna be young. It's gonna be really like that. And then when brains are enriched, then people are gonna feel young and think like young uh, also. So it's really real and everything. <coughs> and all the things I mentioned, like this hand is now about 20 years old. I compared it with some people. I was just not to waste this cream that I had left over, so just put it. Uh, this hand is now about 20 years old. I compared it with some people who are 20 and it even looked better than them. These lines right here of pores are smaller than even some people who are 20 years old. Friends that I would compare to. And all these things I mentioned, people can come over anytime and see for themselves. It's not a story or something, but it's really real. 
<coughs> we really now have, we really have a physics and evidence and correct to be young, to be young for hundreds of years into the future and everything. And if there is enough of it for the whole human race, can be made. So you would just walk into a store, let's say 200 years from now, a girl walks into a store and she picks which one she wants. Like this one will, then she'll be 20. Some part of her body will be 20. Some other one, she'll be 17. In the future, girls could come to a store and this could be blue. That's something I plan to make in a day or two. Uh, totally, totally cool. Something that girls look blue, like in the Avatar movie. And in the future, a girl would walk into a store and she would buy a cream like this. She applies it and she turns blue. Like she's blue for, let's say, the summer time. Four months, three months and so on. Till that wastes away. Which is also by option time how long uh, they would be so I plan <laughs> so I plan to make a uh, one like that too but any color I have come to it can be so just like in the sci-fi movies just like let's say the last action hero so imagine we live in a world well all girls are young and they're all more or less beautiful the problem would just be fat people but with enriched food and the uh, which in the future can be and everything uh, that can also be taken away there's no need for food then that makes people fat because fat too is a certain type of atoms and molecules that can be enriched in a certain way that they're not bad and so on <laughs> so those are all options now really that are going to be in the future uh, for the skin uh, actually skin i did the longest and the most and it has worked perfect because you can see right there that the skin is still like totally white and and uh, tight and uh, this skin right here would be like 20 years old probably now and so on <coughs> so and uh, one of the things i mentioned uh, which is which is so imagine that everybody's beautiful everybody's young like let's say like the movie the last action hero just like that and uh, plus there would be girls that can have any color of skin any color of uh, any color of hair hair they can do already and uh, then it's totally like a sci-fi future which is really gonna be and then people can live for thousands of years I mean this is now evidence So I mentioned one of the creeds, which is about 300 billion in profit, would bring for sure. And all the other creeds added to it, uh, there is about, a uh, person would say about 4 billion people on planet Earth who are older and would, of course, very, very fast, would like to get these creeds to look younger and be younger. But the important thing is to be young on the inside as well, of course. 
and uh, but I have uh, estimated the profit of it, uh, the recipe is how it is made, and the profit it could bring globally all over the all over the world, and the profit uh, came to about 1.5 trillion. These creams were sold all over the world. Four billion people. This one would be about 100 bucks. These would be about 300 bucks because they're a bit more expensive. They have a lot more ingredients. This one, for instance, would be about 300 bucks to buy in the store. And the profit I came to is about uh, 1.5 trillion per month would be the profit. And that's the first when it comes out, not to come to future and so on and so on. And that is just in these creams, not to count the food, what the food will bring, but the food is what is supposed to enrich the body inside. Just looking young would not be enough if, the first, if a person is not young on the inside as well. But, and the big thing about it is the creams, I don't even work in creams. What I, what I specialize in and the things I work in that I worked and researched for many, many years is actually technologies to go to space, explosive matter. How to, how to make explosive matter a lot more explosive, but in a way of fuel and going to the solar system. And uh, that was actually what I specialized in and have worked for many, many years on. Creams, uh, I maybe two months started working on them as well, about two months. And it can bring right now 1.5 trillion profit just to cream. And that is the power of knowing the quantum realm through my physics, which is the most correct of any, I think, in the quantum realm, knowledge of the quantum realm, which even these creams and what I've showed is just a little bit evidence of that. <coughs> so just in the mercury cream that I showed, there is now about uh, many, many new molecules in it, never before seen, many new atoms in it, never before seen, and many new even electrons, never before seen on Earth. The electrons in this uh, cream that people saw, the mercury cream, it is actually like uh, even the electrons have totally, totally changed chemistry and turned into something totally, totally else. Electrons never before seen on planet Earth. Only such electrons might exist once they come out of a black hole or something like that. There such thing happens that electrons become so uh, different and so on and so on. But just in that cream, uh, I could point out our three Nobel Prizes. New molecules, new graphene, never before type of graphene seen and the new electrons even, never, never before seen on planet Earth. But the thing there is, a person has to know exactly how to enrich each graphene atom, each uh, molecule, and each electron. If he gets it wrong, then he might create something harmful, some energy that's bad for somebody, so on and so on. So the chemistry, which is quantum realm chemistry, inside the atom itself is crucial, very important to know and everything. And to move on, all the creams I have shown so far, the cream that is for, for enriching uh, sexual parts, the cream for the face, the cream for the body, the mercury cream, which works perfect, really, really perfect. Uh, all those creams are actually all together, I have counted it, the mercury cream for the body, the ones for the face that are actually the most expensive ones because the face is very, very thick skin than uh, the ones for, for sexual parts and uh, the one for the head and everything and the one for losing hair for like 10 years so that girls don't have to shave every month and so on and so on. All that together I have counted it up and it comes to about 1.5 trillion that the creams uh, would bring uh, in a month, in one month if they were sold all over the world and so on and so on. 1.5 trillion. The science, the, the recipes, how they are made, uh, uh, they can bring, uh, once they are sold and the creams go globally all over the world, they can bring 1.5 trillion euros a month. 
because there is about 4 billion people who are older and they would want to get, they would get the green right away once they know and see how good it works. Everybody wants to be young, of course, that is. So all the creams together bring to 1.5 trillion a month profit. I made them in, for, in 1,000 euros, all the creams. Uh, recently that I have made, the ones I have shown, it cost me about a thousand euros to make them. So I, I saw it as I spent 1,000 euros and I made a profit, can make a profit now from the recipes, how they are made, 1.5 trillion. And that's not even counting other months after that, which would come and so on. And that's not even counting the food that's just the creams for the body, not counting the food. The food can bring a lot more money, of course. But the, in general, it's not about the money. In general, the project is about saving humanity, stopping aging, and that people can live uh, for hundreds and hundreds of years. Now people have seen evidence. This is now 20-year-old uh, skin. That's evidence, and it is what it is. So all internal organs can be changed, just the proper chemistry has to be known and with which type of food to do it. The proper chemistry of inside the atom chemistry uh, and temperature and then the atom irradiates that energy uh, just like it does in the hand, it will do in the organs, it will do in the brain and they are young again. From that point of view people can really understand that that dying of old age and being old, that's now a thing of the past. It, it's not gonna be anymore in the future. And, uh, and the, the funny thing about it is, uh, in my life, I never even worked on creams. On food, I worked, let's say, half a year or so. But on creams, I worked only a few months. Uh, from this summer, I started. And I made a 1.5 trillion can bring a profit. But what I specialize in in work is actually making fuel explosions that are uh, extremely explosive matter, but in a small dense place, like for fuel, therefore, like antimatter to go to Jupiter, to go to Saturn, to go to to go to to Pluto, and so on and so on. Those are the things. But actually, space uh, to go to space technologies. That's actually what I specialize in and so on and so on. And that's what I worked on uh, all my life, basically. Not all my life, but all my life that I've been writing and researching science. So what I specialize in is actually technologies to go to space and physics, to understand the physics of the universe. And, uh, but in creams, I just applied tiny little bit of my physics and it worked out perfect. Pro can bring a profit from 1.5 trillion a month just because I applied my physics into the creams and uh, it worked perfectly, it worked out well. As people can see, what I have just shown evidence and so on. But uh, I would t tell people there, I believe now that just as easy I can, I can uh, make fuel that is powerful, extremely powerful, and that very easily we will go to the solar system, to all the planets in the solar system, even the dwarf planets, that are uh, further than Pluto and so on and so on, from highly, highly enriched and best way how to make fuel. <laughs> the only difference is, uh, which is highly complex, of course, and everything. Uh, let's say, let's say I just mentioned electrons. Uh, how to work with electrons in the quantum realm that can bring, bring Star Trek to me in my physics. But that's something I never reveal and everything and so on. But, uh, but uh, making fuel something highly, highly strong, powerful, but tiny, tiny in the quantum realm, in the atom itself, that can give us the solar system very, very easily. And now I'm an expert at that. Uh, now, like I make a special, extremely high energy, no creams are better on planet Earth, that can enrich, make a hand look 17 years old in a month. And uh, all the creams I applied on the hand, it's maybe five days I would do it. Five days, ten days, maybe like that. But less even than a month. So I believe now, I know, I can just as easy make fuel that we go to the solar system very, very easily. It is highly, highly complex. And a person would need antimatter, 
of how to make antimatter particle accelerators and so on, but now it is a possibility and not that hard to do. So, <laughs> okay. so what I really specialize in is making explosions. Technologies to go to space and explosions, that's actually what I specialize in. Dreams I just did uh, to, I just thought, had a genius idea about it. One idea, which was graphing and Nivea, and that's how it started. But then I came to a thousand times better ideas and more and everything and so on. Now I even have plans how to make my own creams, which will be highly, highly enriched, a um, thousand times more than the things people buy at the store. But the ones at the store worked out perfectly as a blend with all the other things. And there people can understand that uh, the, my physics, what I have discovered, uh, it can lead to creating a million new atoms for fuel, for enrichment, for the human body, for everything. The cream that I explained right there, and now I have a plan, I will make a special different type of version, but that will be, that will go into the blood. And the high intensity of energy, number one, will enrich the inside, like, like in, uh, in a day, that fast people will turn to be kids again but also what it will do it will kill every virus like that there are people can understand how beautiful and correct this physics is a knowledge of the quantum realm how powerful and great it is that means we can make any atom we want that means we can make a million billion new atoms that never before existed like uh, by adding energy, the right energy into it. That's what nuclear physicists did a long time ago with the nuclear explosion. But uh, that's not even, not even the, the, not even one percent of all the greatness that can come from enriching matter and so on. But of course, uh, hot matter to be enriched, which is explosions, is a totally different physics, a totally different way it goes. Let's say the cream that I showed people the mercury cream it has Nivea in it for uh, in part it has a lot of other parts but it has Nivea in it but it has been uh, standing for months and months but now every atom that was in Nivea and every molecule is no longer that atom and it's no longer that molecule it is no longer that temperature and it is no longer that color so now these are totally new atoms that never before existed on planet Earth. That's the science chemistry, huge, huge understanding. People can see how physics is endless and forever. We can enrich ourselves, be young now, uh, as long as a person wants. Organs inside and outside, which is evidence now easily understood. But we can also enrich and make fuel. We can take antimatter, let's say it's this big, and make it that big. And then we go to Pluto, we go to Saturn, easy as that. There is about three, four Nobel Prizes right now. The electrons to me are like a huge, huge thing. Think about it, what the electrons are like in the cream. Now the graphene tree that people have seen in past videos and so on, it has given about, about 40 tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. And I have eaten about 20, 25 of them in the past months and so on. And the calculations tell me that uh, around 400 grams of uh, the fruit I have eaten, and about five percent of that, which would be about which would be about 20 grams plus 10 grams from the tree that flows into the tomatoes, about 30 grams of that is graphene, but graphene energy. Uh, the big point there is not to get graphene in blood because graphene is sort of like a metal; it's 200 times stronger than a metal. So if, if graphene goes into the blood, it might just uh, sit there and do nothing. But the special graphene energy is made combined with 10, 20 other things that it releases energy. When graphene comes into the blood, it releases energy like food does and so on. Which is the big, big deal about the tree and all the energies combinations. And the calculations tell me about 30 grams of graphene enriched graphene energy is now plasma in the blood in my blood and so far i have seen uh, things go way way better reflexes strength 
and so on and so on, working like perfectly. And I know many people might think, is that dangerous? Is he gonna hurt himself? But uh, I don't work, I would say to people, I don't work on things that are dangerous, that do not work. I know, when I know something works, then I work on it. I don't even work on things that don't work or are, not, or are dangerous or something like that. Now, that food that I have eaten, that plasma is in my butt and it's all working out great and everything. And uh, I have eaten all the other fruits uh, from the dinosaur tree, uh, the natural tree, uh, the tuna, the tuna tomatoes, tomatoes made out of tuna, which is highly enriched carbon than from tuna fish. And I have eaten all of them all summer long. And now I have started on way, way better plants, but that grow during the winter, which are a lot, a lot better, a lot stronger, and for different purposes and so on. The cancer, the cancer chilies are growing well also. So all the tomatoes that I have eaten during the summer all had enriched uh, carbon in them and in the seeds had enriched, uh, highly enriched uh, hydrogen in them. And from hydrogen is where DNA is made, plus the graphene energy that I have been eating and everything. And uh, when a person eats food, his sperm is made from food. That's also a part of physics and everything. And uh, a, person's, uh, a person's sperm is made out of food that he eats. So let's say the seeds that one eats from a tomato, that turns into hydrogen strands uh, in the sperm and that's the DNA of the children. But these hydrogen that I have eaten are highly, highly enriched. Uh, recently I even worked on some special creams that have some African type of uh, recipe in them some parts and I realized that in those creams and everything there is highly enriched hydrogen that comes from Africa because in Africa it's very very hot a lot of sun so the hydrogen in Africa and their recipes they rely on highly enriched hydrogen but the hydrogen I made is even even better in there plus then in those hydrogen strands that would be of future children is the graphene energy as well so that tells me that that future offspring then, but sperm is wasted as uh, months go by, new ones are made and so on and so on. Uh, but uh, that tells me that DNA of my children, if I had kids, let's say in a month or two, would be totally, totally something unseen before in human history. Because uh, the DNA strands of the children, future children, which is in sperm, would be enriched hydrogen and then even more enriched with, uh, with the graphene energy, that's the plasma that's in the blood and everything. So this is my Instagram page, name and username, and uh, this is where people can follow all the upcoming, uh, upcoming information about it, upcoming shows. They can see information even before they come to my YouTube channel and everything, and I post a lot of things, a lot of new ideas, uh, how things are going, like the fastest information that reaches people actually is on the Instagram page and the future upcoming shows what they're gonna be about and everything and so on. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned.